Hey everyone, this is Alessandro Brooks from Home Chef Seattle. Today I'm going to be sharing with you the recipe for some fried chicken tenders with pumpkin waffle. I hope you enjoy it. Let's get started. We're going to start by roughly chopping half cup of pecans. In a large bowl, add one and a half cups of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of cinnamon, half teaspoon of ground cloves, half teaspoon of ground ginger, half teaspoon of nutmeg, half teaspoon of salt, a quarter cup of brown sugar, and the chopped pecans. Mix all of the dry ingredients, then push it to the sides of the bowl, making a well in the center. Add two eggs, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, three tablespoons of melted and cooled butter, and one cup of pumpkin puree. Mix it well to combine, then add one cup of milk. Once all of the wet ingredients are well mixed, start to combine with the dry ingredients until just mixed. Do not overmix it. Set the batter aside and let it rest for 15 to 20 minutes. For the chicken, add two eggs into a dish. Add some salt and whisk it until nice and airy. In another dish, add one and a half cups of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of smoked paprika, one third to half teaspoon of chili powder, and some fresh ground black pepper. Then mix it to combine. We'll be using one and a half to two pounds of chicken tenders. Dry the chicken if wet, then dip it in the flour mixture to coat. After the flour, dip the tenders into the egg to coat. Shake off any excess, then dip it back in the flour. Place it back into the egg and the flour once again to form a nice crust. Repeat the process with all the tenders and place them on a dish to rest while the oil heats up. Add one and a half to two inches of vegetable oil in a large pan and heat it up over medium high heat to 375 Fahrenheit, 190 Celsius. Heat up your waffle maker on the highest setting. Add enough batter for one waffle, then cover it and let it cook. Once the oil is hot, add the chicken in batches. Four to five pieces depending on the size of your pan. Check on the waffle and remove it once nice and brown. Turn the chicken once while frying. The tenders are done when nice and golden, about 8 minutes. Remove the tenders from the pan and place it on a wire rack or over some paper towel. You can sprinkle the tenders with some salt once they come out of the oil. To serve, add a waffle, some toasted pecans, a couple of chicken pieces, and I like to add a drizzle of maple syrup. You can also serve it with gravy. And now it is time to eat. I hope you have enjoyed the recipe. Please don't forget to like it, leave a comment and subscribe to the channel for more recipes to come. Thank you for watching.